guides your heart. Got it. Guides your heart. Here's the topic. All the issues of life comes from the heart. The issue of, the li of life comes from the heart. So says the book of Proverbs 4.23. If you want to live and want to avoid sickness and problems, you got to guide your heart. And you guide your heart by taking in the word of God. That is what is said in Proverbs 4, 21, 22. When you don't allow the word of God to depart from your eyes, depart from your mind, you'll be able to save your life and deliver your flesh from sickness. What we need, therefore, to deliver ourselves from spiritual death, internal death, is for us to guide our heart, never allowing evil to come into our heart. What we hear, I repeat again, and see, gets us to lose our heart and not to guide our heart. When we were young, we were growing up, then television was not known. People were pure. But when we grew up and we started watching television, most of the things that were from the West were about sometimes a white man will be talking to his own a girl and before you know it, they started kissing each other. We grew up with that mentality and we started committing sin. The girls will expect you, after talking to them, to kiss them. And the girl and the boy, as he talks to the girl, the next thing I expect is to kiss her. Because they have spent their lives watching evil. A boy at Abuja, one day after having watched Superman, got his mother's wrapper, tied it, went upstairs, and he flew down, emulating the Superman. What else do you expect than for him to come down with a broken neck? That was his end. Each time we don't guide our heart, we find ourselves in love with what the devil shows us. And we start practicing it. In the end, like that boy died, we die without God. Most of the violence that is experienced today is all what's in the movie. You hear people driving on a bike and killing. It's something they've seen on the movie. Because they did not guide their heart, they found themselves taken over by what they have seen and thereby kill themselves, driving God out of their heart. Jesus did it to that. Jesus guarded his heart by always taking in the word of God, meditating upon it, and he suggested that to the Israelites. That is what I present to you today. You have no eye for the Holy Spirit. Guard your heart. Father, grant us all that it takes to guard our hearts. For if we don't, we will lose our lives. We can guide our hearts, Father, by reading your word and meditating up on your word. Watching if we have to watch movies. Movies that will help us to know you. Not things that will corrupt us and lead us to lose our lives. Things, not things that will make us fearful and destroy our faith. Not things that do not glorify you or teach us about morals. For they will take away the morals of God from us. We pray that you help us guide our hearts. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.